Monique here, Little Gems Creations One. Today we are going to be making a dice bag and not just any dice bag, but a dragon scale dice bag. And we're gonna start that in just a moment. Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to make a blue dragon dice bag. So you're going to need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. Today we're using Red Heart Super Saver. It is blue, <laughs> hence the blue dragon scale. Okay, so it's a four ply medium weight yarn. Um, yeah, you're going to need a pair of scissors and a darning needle. Okay, so let's get started. We are going to start by crossing our yarn. A lot of people start with slip knots. I have never crocheted with slip knots, so we're just going to cross our yarn. Next, we're going to chain. We're going to chain two. Okay, so there's my two. Now we're going to go into that first chain. We're going to put the tail around our hook. We're going to pull through, yarn over, go through the two loops. And that, my friends, is a single crochet. Let's do it again. Go into the, the same stitch or the same chain, pull through, yarn over, through the two loops. So we're putting six single crochets in the same spot. And you see how I'm kind of holding it with my fingers so I don't lose where I'm putting the stitches? That's a good little trick to remember. So pull through, yarn over, through the two stitches. We're at three, we want six. Four, five, and six. We are gonna slip stitch into that first stitch and we're going to chain up one. There is our first round. That is the first round of our cute little dragon scale bag. Okay, now we're going to increase. So we're going to increase by six. So we're doing two stitches, two single crochets in every stitch around to give us a total of 12. So just like before, into the stitch, pull through, yarn over through the two loops. Into the stitch, pull through, yarn over through two loops. We're at four, five, and six, seven, and eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna slip stitch to that first stitch again. And we're gonna chain up one. This is what we have. So you see how my center circle here is a little bit gapy? Well, we don't want that. So if you did your tail right when you caught it with your hook, you can give it a nice firm tug and that hole cinches right up. If it doesn't, don't panic. Do not panic. You can use this to just sew up the center so that there's no space. Okay. Now, let's do this again. Sorry, I just hit the camera. So now we're working in multiples of three. So here's, I'm gonna show you two ways to do that. So you can, we're gonna still work with single crochet. So we're gonna put one, and two into the first stitch. We're always gonna be putting two into the first stitch now. So two, and then one on its own to make three. Okay. Then you can go four and five in the next stitch and put six on your own. And this is what I mean by multiples of three. So we're just gonna keep doing that until we get a total of 18. Or if you're good at knowing where you started, some people can't see it if they're really new, but if you're good at seeing where you started or if you put a stitch marker, you can just go 
like this and do one, two stitches in the first, and then three is on its own. And then just keep going like that. One and two together, three is on its own. Okay. One and two together, three is on its own. Now I'm getting close to the other side and I can see it clear clearly. This is where I need to slip stitch. But some people who haven't been crocheting as long may not see it that easily. So that's another way where you could count. So this would be 15 and I would go 16 and 17 into the same stitch and 18's on your own. You know that's the total of stitches you want to get. So you would slip stitch into that first stitch and then you chain up one. Now we're gonna increase in this way until we get 30 stitches. So uh, you're not gonna do threes. The next round we're gonna do fours. So I'm gonna show you the start of each round, but you're gonna do this until you get, until you're doing multiples of six and you're doing 36 stitches, okay? So right now we did 18, so we're gonna go one and two, and these are multiples of four. So three's on its own and four is on its own. Remember, you always start with two. So five and six are together. Seven and eight are on their own. So continue this round and meet me back and then I'll show you for round five. So I slip stitched into that first stitch and I chained up one now we are going to do multiples of five. So one and two go in that first stitch. Three goes on its own. Four goes on its own. And five goes on, the, on its own. So this round, you're gonna end up with 30 stitches working in multiples of five. So see? One, two, three, four, five ridges, which means multiples of five. And you'll end up with 30 stitches. So keep going, meet me back. Okay, so again, I slip stitched and now I chained up one. So now we're doing our final round and we're doing multiples of six. So one and two go into that first stitch. Three is on its own, four is on its own, five is on its own, and six. Now we know we have to do two in the next stitch because we're doing multiples of six. So seven and eight in that stitch. Nine is on its own, 10 is on its own. 11 is on its own and 12 is on its own. So you continue this until you get to 36 and meet me back. So I've gone all the way around and now I'm gonna slip stitch into that first stitch. I'm gonna make my loop a little big. I'm gonna cut my yarn. My tail goes through my loop, pull tight. Now we're going to quickly hide our threads. So I'm just going to show you how I do this if you're a new crocheter. Okay, so I go, I go in my stitches. I'm looking to see which direction my yarn is coming out and it's coming out here. That's what I was looking for. So I go through some stitches, pull through. Now I go behind where I'm coming out and I go a little bit further. And I'm only going through the back loops. I'm not going through the front, see? Here we are. And I do that all the way around to get rid of those. There's that one. You notice no knots, 
because we don't re really need them by doing the back stitching like I just showed you. You don't need to do knots because your your yarn won't come undone. Okay, at the edge, same thing. I go down. I try not to stay up at the very edge because I don't want to distort the stitches. So I head towards that center. There we go. There. Now those are hidden. And you're ready for the next part. So you put this to the side. Now what I want you to do is I want you to make another one, but don't finish it, okay? So do up to the six rounds and do your slip stitch, but then stop. Do not cut your yarn. Um, and then meet me back, okay? So make another one without cutting your working yarn after you've done the slip stitch. Okie dokie. Okay, so I'm done that. I d did my slip stitch and now I'm gonna chain up two. Okay, we're gonna grab our back. We're putting the two, bat the two wrong ends together. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in half of this stitch and go through the whole stitch of the back. Sorry, but we're doing this yarn over into the half, into the hole, pull through, yarn over and go through all three loops. That is a half double crochet. So let's do it again. Yarn over, we're only going in the half of the stitch, but the whole stitch at the back, pull through, yarn over, go through all three loops. Again, yarn over, into the half of the stitch, into the full of the back stitch, and go through all three loops. And what this is creating is, see, is it's making this ridge. And that's going to help our dice bag sit nicely. So do this all the way around. We are not increasing. If you want, you can hide this thread or you can do like I'm going to do and just tuck it in. So do this all the way around till you get back to your chain and meet me back. So I've gotten all the way around. This is my um, chain two, but we're not going to slip stitch. Now we're going to switch to working in the spiral. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over and you're going to go into the stitch, not the chain. And you're just going to continue doing half double crochets. Okay. And we're just going to spiral. Now here's the trick. Okay. So let me get a few in. And you're just going through the whole stitch. You're not doing the ridging again. Okay. So here's what I want you to see. This is one row. This is two, or this is one round. This is two rounds. On this side, it's just one round. So I want you to continue until you have three rounds on both sides of your working yarn. Okay. So... Do that, half double crochet, three rounds. The one round we just did counts, and now we're starting on the second round. I want you to do three, so you'll end up here. Okay, do that, meet me back. Okay, so see, I've got one, two, three rounds on this side of my crochet hook, and one, two, three rounds on this side of my crochet hook. I'm going to slip stitch into the very next stitch and then I'm going to chain up three. Now in the same spot, we are going to do a double crochet. So it's yarn over into the stitch, pull through, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops. Okay. Then we are going to chain two. We're going to skip two and we're putting one double crochet in that stitch. We're going to chain two. We're going to skip two and we're putting two double crochets into this stitch. We're going to chain two, skip two, one double crochet into this stitch. Chain two, skip two, two double crochets. 
I want you to continue like this until you're around to the end. And I'm gonna show you the end, okay? So two double crochets, chain two, skip two, one double crochet. Continue that. Okay, you're gonna end up with one, two, three stitches, but that's okay. You're still just gonna chain two and you're gonna reach across to the top of that chain three and you're gonna slip stitch into that. Okay, we're gonna chain up three and now we're gonna start our scale. So this chain three counts as a double crochet and now we're gonna work around the post going down the post and we're doing double crochets. So we've got one, which is our chain three, two, we're gonna have a total of five, three, four, and five. We are gonna chain one and now we're gonna work back up that other post and we're putting five double crochets around it. One, two, three, four, five. We are gonna slip stitch into this um, um, double crochet and now just reaching to the next post we're going to start working down the side five double crochet one two three Chain one and work up the other double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. Oops, five. We're going to slip stitch into here and continue. But this is what our scales are looking like. Okay, so do that around, meet me back. Okay, so we're all the way around the beginning, okay? So we're, this is where we would slip stitch into the post, but you know what I'm gonna get you guys to do here? You're gonna catch just in between the stitches, you're gonna catch that very first dragon scale we did, and we're gonna slip stitch the whole mess, okay? Then we're gonna chain up two, sorry, three, but I did four, <laughs> chain up three, and we're gonna go back into that same space and do a double crochet. We're gonna chain two, and put one double crochet in the space that we create with our dragon scales. We're gonna chain two and we're gonna put two into this right here where we slip stitched. We're gonna put two double crochets, one and two. And it's kind of tricky because you can't really see the stitch. So I just look for the space. See how there's that space? And I put it in the space, okay? So you're gonna do this all the way around and what we're doing is we're making our foundation for our next row of scales. So two, chain two, one, chain two, two, chain two, you know what I'm saying. So do that. Now, if you haven't had a chance yet, don't forget to hit that like. And if any of this has been intriguing for you and you've gotten this far in the video, obviously you like what I do. 
I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed. This is my retirement plan. I'm trying to make this channel big enough so that one day I can retire because even though I have all these videos and I've been working on this channel for so many years, I still work a full-time job and I'm hoping someday that that won't be the case so then I can make so many more tutorials for you guys. I have so many ideas, you guys, and I just don't have enough time. So help me help you by liking and subscribing so that we can blow up this channel, right? Okay, keep doing what I was saying and meet me back. Okay, so I'm all the way to the other end. I'm going to go in the top of the chain three to slip stitch. Come on. Top of the chain three. We're going to slip stitch into that. And then just like before, we're going to start building our scales. So you're going to do another row of scales. You're going to do, and then another row of foundation and another row of scales, okay? So do that and meet me back. Okay, guys, so I've gone all the way around. I've done my three levels of scales. We're going to chain up two. Now we're going to finish this back. And this is a little bit of a tricky part. So we're going to go back to doing half double crochets and we're working in these back stitches here, okay? So yarn over into the chain, pull through, yarn over through the two loops. Yarn over into the chain, pull through two loops. We're going to pick up 36 stitches, okay? So two, I'm going to put this one in the space three, back chain, four, five, into the post, six, into the chain, seven, eight, into the space, nine, ten, eleven, into the post, twelve, Keep going until you've got 36, not counting the chain two. Okay, meet me back. Just like when we were doing the bottom, we're gonna start working in spirals. So I've got 36 stitches. So I'm just gonna go, oh, actually no, we're gonna slip stitch into this one, sorry. I make these up as I go. So we're going to slip stitch into this one. Okay. We're going to chain up two. Let's go three. Let's go four. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. What do you mean? <laughs> so we're going to go four. And then we're going to skip one stitch and do a double crochet. Then we're going to chain one, skip one stitch, and do a double crochet in the next. And what we're making here is where we're going to put our laces to close the bag. So chain one, skip one, double crochet. Do that all the way around. Meet me back. So I'm to the other side, I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go into the third chain on the chain four we made. From here I'm going to chain up two 
and now we're switching back to half double crochets. So this is actually a really good tutorial for practicing all your different stitches, right? Because we kind of use a lot. So chained up two, yarn over into this space, pull through, go through all three loops. Yarn over into the stitch, pull through, go through all three loops. Yarn over into the space, yarn over into the stitch. Now, before I forget, I want to make sure that you know to check the description. I have all kinds of goodies in this description, okay, guys? So I have links to my Facebook um, crafting group so you can join me there and show me your beautiful creations. Um, I also have links to uh, other dice bag tutorials to, um, um, yeah, just all kinds of other things. So check that description. I try and keep it full of goodies. Okay. So do single or half double crochets all the way around. Meet me back. So I've gone all the way around and just like we did at the beginning, we're just going to do this as a spiral and we're going to go into that first stitch, not the chain. And we're going to do another round of half double crochets. So we have two total on either side of our crochet hook. Do you remember what I, how I explained that? Yeah. Okay, so just going around and around in a spiral. And then we're almost done. Isn't it gorgeous? I just love it. Okay, sorry. I get excited about these things. I just love, you know, that I take string and I make amazing things, just like you're doing now too. I think we're awesome. We're just crocheters, knitters, all of us who take string and just make things. We're awesome. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I'll get back to it. Give me back. Okay, so as you can see, I've got two rows on this side of my crochet hook and two rows on that side of my crochet hook. So I'm just gonna slip stitch here. Make your loop big. Cut your yarn. Pull tight. So you're gonna wanna hide that thread, but you know, other than the first two threads, we've had three threads we've had to hide in this whole project. This is something I keep track of because I hate hiding threads. So now we're gonna make the ties. Put that aside, we're gonna make the ties. You're gonna make two ties, 70, 70 chains, okay? So make two of 70 and meet me back and then I'll show you how to weave them through okay I have my two ties made now we need to okay so you see here where I haven't hidden my thread yet this is where we're gonna start weaving so take one of your ties and we're just gonna put it in and we're just going to weave it through. Weave it through. Don't pull it through. Just weave it through. You want to make sure you <laughs> don't pull it by accident out the holes that you've already woven. All right. Okay. Okay, so there we go. So now I want you to take these ends and I want you to tie them together. I'm trying to tie it so that the crochet is right at the end of the crochet. Okay. So there we go. Now we're going to flatten this 
And on this side, we are going to start weaving this through. And we're gonna go right past these guys. See what I'm doing here? And you see how I'm keeping one on the top and one on the bottom? Again, we're gonna tie it so that you're right at the end of the crocheting. Okay. Now we're gonna cut these even. And on the other side, make sure that we pull tight like that. And then we're gonna cut them even. And then we of course are gonna weave in this thread. So let's pretend it's not there. And here you go, guys. This is our dice bag. And it looks like dragon scales. Isn't that awesome? There you go. I love it. I hope you love it too. So we are now at the end of the tutorial. Don't forget to check that description like I suggested. Please hit the like. And you know what I would love? I would love if you left a comment and told me where you're watching from because it always amazes me how far my tutorials reach in the world. So yeah, thanks for watching guys watch every Thursday. I try and do a new tutorial. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye now.